Harmony is a philanthropy organization that focuses on empowering youth. It really helps the youth. It's not just like a program where you just come out and watch movies. And it's actually beneficial to their life. And the Harmony group is a way for me to try to get back to my community um, with my time. To, 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 to see the culmination of these young folks paying it forward because somebody had done something for them and they was like, okay, great, we got some money. Who can we help? How can we help? How can we create an impact and how can we affect some change here in our community? It's not just about leadership. It's not just about who's got the longest resume or who's had to, done the most after school activities or sports. But what I love to see about this is young people, just like that one that maybe you passed by on the street a little bit earlier today, that person that you saw going to their school, this is the real, real story of young people who've said, you know what, I want to be able to make a change about this. Philanthropy. They've given their time. It took them eight months to get to this day. They gave their talents because nobody knows young people like our young people. They're the experts. My name is Tony Brennis and I'm a member of Harmony. And what we do is we're an organization made up of youth from all over the county. So our organization raises funds and then we create a board and we have people um, apply to us with grant applications and then we try to fulfill those grants with the funds that we've raised. That way we really um, disperse things evenly throughout the community and address those issues not only in one location but throughout the local area. I'm Amber Johnson. I'm a member of Jacksonville Youth Council and Harmony. Harmony is important to me because it helps people and for people who don't have the money to help others, it gives them that chance to. I'm a member of Harmony. I've been with them for the uh, first two years. Harmony is important to me because I believe it offers a good opportunity for youth as well as adults and people in the community to do something good and also a chance for us youth to come here and learn about philanthropy and donating and the whole process of it. We're teaching them at a very early age what it means to be an active member of their community, what it really takes to solve problems, and how complex those problems can be. And these people came together and actually made up beats, songs, and uh, it was a good lesson on diversity. So diversity, harmony, how you create change, even with things you're not comfortable with, were great lessons for us all, don't you agree? Yeah. These guys earned your $500. Our best presenters in the state. $500. And community parents, and this year we had over $2,000. All of them have to be youth led with an adult uh, supervisor, and the groups basically are things that we would like to get involved in ourselves in the community that are good overall. So, tonight is about four different groups that Harmony, these collection of young people in Jacksonville, have decided are going to be awarded the grant funds that have been entrusted to them by the Community Foundation, by the different boards, and by community donors as well. We are um, awarding grants, community grants, um, of around $2,000 to um, youth-led projects within the community. Um, these are projects that the members of Harmony, all high school students, saw fit um, as being things that would make a positive change in this community. I applied for a grant so that I could pretty much make these kinds of fleece blankets and donate them to the Child Advocacy Center. Honor Guard, Color Guard, uh, youth in the deprived areas, at risk youth from the schools, just a dynamic group of kids here in Onslow County um, and being able to send out grants, uh, give, be grant makers mm -hmm. for some awesome projects uh, between Southwest High School and the church and the, the NAB vets. Harmony is just a bunch of great folks making awesome changes here in Ons Onslow County. I enjoy seeing the kids um, being introduced to tough issues and being able to tackle those issues from their perspective. It helps me understand that there are other people that have a need and even though I may not be in that situation, I may be later on in life. So I think it's about looking out for your fellow man and um, just making sure that 
the community as a whole thinks about everyone. None of this would have been possible without the generous support of the Karen Communities Foundation, who provided much of the funds awarded by the youth and the companies associated with Johnny Stevenson who helped provide the leadership for this project.